little update for you guys uh, if you watched one of my last videos I was working on taking a computer power supply to power a radio well here you go I got a uh, car radio there with CD player and I took the power supply and uh, from the computer and I set up a DC uh, power testing station so that'll give me 3.3 volts 5 volts 12 volts DC and there's a ground and you can use that for uh, testing out components and I just made some little wire leads with uh, some banana clips and some alligator clips and all that is uh, out in the garage I put it underneath my cabinets just sort of mounted like that and things nice put some speakers and another nice thing I like about it is when it's turned off you have a clock right there so that's a little project I've been working on and I got one other thing to show you guys alright folks there's one other thing that I did if you look up top remember this stupid contraption that there was my uh, uh, water softener thing that I made into a homemade air compressor so I'm out in my garage and there's the garage door I got it all the way up there on the gable end of the building things uh, fiberglass so it's real lightweight I just have it strapped up there with uh, three straps and then I ran the line down here and it comes down the wall and I put a regulator on here so all I have to do is hit the switch and that'll crank it up and we can pump it up and uh, I've been using it out here I got a couple uh, tractors out here zero turns and uh, got a snow blower wheelbarrows those tires go down so I use it for those things and uh, it's just nice having air out here I didn't have any air before uh, I just pumped up that thing so used it a few times already it's been good and when I don't use it I just turn it off and it's it's actually really quiet and you can see it's already got some air in there so uh, it pumps up fairly quick I only need to get it to about 30 to pump up my tires so I figured I'd just show you that and uh, I know I showed you a build of how I made the thing but I never showed you where I was gonna put it in I'm gonna switch this plate out with a metal plate I didn't do that yet so uh, that's the latest uh, thing that I've been working on out here so this is the uh, the Amglo gas air compressor um, I wanted to put a guard on this thing because number one I noticed that if you don't have a guard your hose will tangle up and get stuck in there and get probably ripped apart or number two I was worried about my kids getting close to it since I'm keeping this blue one and um, if you didn't see my other videos I uh, completely went through and repaired everything on this uh, gas air compressor but it was missing a guard so you guys never saw the guard and I was thinking about welding something up but I didn't have any metal or screen so I just took some 2 by 4s and some quarter inch plexiglass and uh, there's a piece of clear plexiglass on this side and a piece of clear on the inside and this is just a, a bracket from a, a lawnmower handle it's actually from one of those uh, Scott's orange mowers um, so I, I took that bracket it happened to fit perfect I think I I don't know I cut something off of it with my grinder I think I squared that up and maybe something else I don't know but anyhow I got that on there and it is solid as can be there's a bolt that goes through the bottom it goes right through the 2x4 and it ties into the the metal uh, that holds up the, the machine that u-shaped metal so anyhow I just want to give everyone an update on that because I, I never did complete that project on film so if you're watching 
thank you and uh if you didn't see the other videos you can see them under my channel so have a great day